hear Ebola, a lot of us think, oh my God. A deadly virus has killed at least 13 people in Uganda. But our safety protection isn't enough. There is no cure for Ebola. Our health officials are trying to stop the spread of an Ebola outbreak. Deadly outbreak of the dreaded Ebola virus. It, it is, and it's one of the deadliest viruses that we know of. It, it causes something known as hemorrhagic fever. And that basically means you develop symptoms of flu, then you develop joint pain, and eventually start to have bleeding. And that's ultimately what leads to death in these patients. So it's, it's very concerning. Death rates can be as high as 90% sometimes with Ebola. So uh, obviously that's why you're seeing so much international attention. What you're finding is that the best sort of thing that they can do, and they're doing already, is quarantine. So they find these patients, they quarantine them in specific locations, and try and just contain it as quickly as possible. The deadly Ebola virus has killed people in western Uganda. Detailed laboratory investigations conducted at the Uganda Virus Institute confirmed the disease to be Ebola. Hemorrhagic three samples taken from the dead revealed Ebola to be present in their biological specimen. The index case, according to World Health Organization officials, belongs to a family in western Uganda, where nine other members of the family also succumbed to death with four other people, including a clinical officer. The Ministry of Health assures the public that it is working around the clock with its international partners to rapidly assess the extent of the outbreak and to bring it fully under control as soon as possible. The ministry says emergency measures are in place to deal with the outbreak, which began in late June, but has only just been confirmed as Ebola. Ebola begins with a high-grade fever and bleeding tendencies. The virus is very infectious and can cause death within a short time, which could present a problem. Times reports more than 224 people were killed in 2000. And from 2007 to 2008, a strand of the virus killed 39 people. But the different types of the virus makes it unique. World, and tonight we go to Uganda, where health officials are trying to stop the spread of an Ebola outbreak that has been difficult to detect because patients are sick, but they're not showing the typical symptoms like bleeding. David McKenzie is following the story from Nairobi and I asked him what officials are doing to control the outbreak. Erin, there's been a deadly outbreak of the dreaded Ebola virus in East Africa. So far, 14 people have been killed by the virus. There's no known cure, and it spreads very fast and kills very quickly. This is the epicenter of an Ebola outbreak. We've been given exclusive access, and the first thing we find out is that our safety protection isn't enough. Now, the reason this isn't acceptable outer safety equipment is because it's this cotton-like material. And obviously, you know, fluids, which are a key risk in contracting Ebola, can get sort of soaked into the material. Let's keep going. Right. What we've got is pre-packed kit. Within here, uh, there's various bits of kit. The virus is so deadly, you need extreme protection. Not a single inch of skin can be exposed, and health workers were some of the first to die. They don't know it's Ebola, they may catch it themselves and then transmit that to, to the community. And up to 90% of the people who catch it will die. So managing the fear factor is key. All the doctors can do is give care. All the patients can do is hope.